you guys are welcome to the channel today it's nice to have you if this is your first time of being here i make our free online course videos uh, so if you'd like to learn anything online right now one of the online, online um, courses we are actually working on right now is uh, how to start an amazon affiliate marketing business so if you'd like to learn that check that playlist on this channel and you can follow as we continue to release new videos after this we plan to reduce the course on how to blog successfully so yeah and today this is going to be the first video that is going to be in a particular uh, playlist on this channel and that is uh, playlist will be called say it as it, as it is and one of the most you know the biggest uh, news we, we we got online today is this news of this lady called uh, Gloria say now Apart from, apart from the fact that uh, she's popular on Instagram and Twitter, I've actually seen her adverts one or twice online, and I really have admired, you know, the effort that they put into running adverts, the content, and so many others. But then today, I really have just seen her adverts on Instagram, nothing more, nothing less. I've just seen her Instagram advert, and I really not thought much about it. But today news broke out that there is a lot of um, fraud allegations surrounding her first and foremost the a, a former employee of the company came up and he stated that he, he was cheated in fact according to him he said he borrowed up around 35k in the space of two months from his neighbor to go to work but in the space of these two months Gloria say and the person that he alleged to be her husband uh, who you were following show they didn't pay them salary and according to them those guys allege that these two are actually couples and uh, they're actually a couple by the way and they have a custom of actually employing people not paying them salaries laying them off after a month and then they continue that cycle over and over again and another thing is she's popularly known on instagram as a feminist in fact she gives a lot of people the impression that she's single a single feminist and a lot just you know needs to be said around that first and foremost the idea that uh, she is a feminist i personally am really not against people i just I, I know i respect people's opinions i feel people can be whatever they choose to be i am not and um, since the definition of what feminism is has always grown you know it is so many that you can't really define what it really is again but a lot of people have seen her as a, a role model, especially young, misguided women. You know, they just want to belong to something bigger. So seeing her, they saw her as a role model. Whatever she said, they jumped after it and then they followed her. But there was this lady who commented on Insta on Twitter this morning that she actually left her previous relationship because of something she saw Glory doing on Twitter. And that is sad. I mean, People make life-changing decisions based on what they perceive others to be, and it's so sad. Also, when you real, when you follow that guy's tweet, and then you came to see, it, you come to see that it is not just something that they do a one-off. Uh, this couple, they they've got businesses. They have land legals. They have pork money. They have opium. They have iber factory. They even have a one they call they, they actually a more, more fashion business. And according to this former employee, he alleged that this couple, these businesses are more like pyramid schemes. You know, basically like land legal. According to him, he said this land actually are owned by actually the government has placed a hold on them, but Muyua continues to sell the land to so unknowing people or unknowing our buyers who after buying the land, the government comes around and takes the land away from them. I personally have seen these businesses at one point and I've really considered okay maybe I could invest in them but for some reason I didn't but come around now and then you see that a lot has gone wrong but land legals those are these uh, investments uh, part plan that they have where people could invest in real estate and then they earn some commission after some time and it's so sad because from the look of things if what the ex-employee is said is true this couple are in the practice of doing this going about around this vicious cycle and seeing that they go online on instagram and twitter 
in the, in the shelves and on the visual codes and people who really do not have a good idea of what is going on behind the scene that making life important life decisions based on what the so-called celebrities they dish out and you talk about feminism some months ago we talked about linda ikeji who was actually an advocate yeah 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 and they make unwitting young ladies or unwitting women who really do not know what feminism is all about they make them start to develop a mindset that is not healthy any mindset that actually results in you eating people is really not healthy and that's why i actually mean feminism if it actually is all about that mindset it's actually not healthy and they go into a thread of men and then you know but these women who seem to be the champions of feminism actually not they, they really they, those are actually not their person in that kg got pregnant for some not even married to the guy this lady is actually married she comes on twitter to give the impression that she is married you, you see a lot and then an area that's of interest to me is actually people who have invested in this business the business owned by this alleged couple who could who are on the brink of actually losing their investment twitter is actually a wash with you know tales of ex-employees or former employees of this uh, couple come around and then they continue to tell bitter tales of how life was when they were in that company and basically we just need to be very very careful one this channel as from now the videos that are going to be part of this playlist will not only be about what i think about trending matters or holding employees employers accountable you know because of the rate on em- unemployment a lot of employers actually feel they can treat employees anyhow and then they could get a you know buy with it the truth is they shouldn't so if you watch this video and you like this video please subscribe to this channel share it if you would love to and you could also watch my playlist on how to start an amazon affiliate marketing business from scratch and if you also do like this video please let me know in the description below and if you also want to discuss with me about maybe you have an employer who really doesn't treat you well maybe because of policies not paying up salaries you know, can list it just shoot me an email uh, my email will be in the description below or you just need to do the right man email and we'll get to talk about it and then make it a, a, a subject for discussion for the thank you very much have a great day